Hello, my name is Dr. Fred B. Covington, and I'm a pediatric occupational therapist. Welcome to another episode of OT to Me. Now, what is one thing that we all must do? Sleep. Sleep plays a vital role in good health and well-being throughout your life. Getting enough quality sleep at the right times can help protect your mental health, physical health, quality of life, and safety. The Centers of Disease Control and Prevention has stated that sleep insufficiency is defined as not obtaining restorative sleep. Moreover, it is a public health problem that is linked to motor vehicle crashes, industrial accidents, increased health care utilization, and decreased work productivity. Sleep insufficiency is also linked to chronic diseases such as hypertension, diabetes, depression, obesity, cancer, early mortality, and reduced quality of life and productivity. Restful and adequate sleep provides the foundation for optimal occupational performance, participation, and engagement in daily life. Occupational therapists take a holistic approach in intervention strategies to address individual, family, and population-based sleep needs in order for clients to live life to the fullest. We use knowledge of sleep physiology, sleep disorders, and evidence-based sleep promotion practices to evaluate and address the ramifications of sleep insufficiency or sleep disorders on occupational performance and participation. Sleep problems are addressed with all clients and framed from the perspective of health maintenance and health promotion. Assessments of sleep difficulties are extensive and we assess a number of areas. Occupational therapists evaluate clients in the areas that contribute to sleep dysfunction, including difficulties in sleep preparation and sleep participation. We assess sleep latency, or how long it takes you to fall asleep. We assess sleep duration, which is the number of hours of sleep, which can vary by age. And we assess sleep maintenance, which is the ability to stay asleep. We also look at daytime sleepiness and the impact it has on work, school, and other life events. Pain and fatigue can also have adverse effects on sleep. So this is an area we also assess. We also look at physiological disturbances in balance, vision, strength, skin integrity, and sensory systems, as well as psychoemotional statuses, including depression, anxiety, and stress. Other areas of assessment include looking at the impact of caffeine, nicotine, drugs, smoking, alcohol, or medications as well. We also take into consideration the impact of one's environment. Now, let's look at some examples of how occupational therapy practitioners may holistically address sleep dysfunction among various and different populations and settings. So let's look at a scenario of a child with autism. In this particular scenario, we explore the impact of sleep deprivation on the family unit and the child's and caregiver's ability to function effectively during the day. Here we can aid families in systematically trial changes in bedtime routines, habits, and patterns. Cognitive or behavior therapy interventions or strategies to address sensory avoiding or sensory seeking behaviors are also used. Managing the physical environment and enhancing observation skills help parents anticipate reactions to changes in clothing, toys, or family schedules. Common activities and routines that do not burden the family and can be consistently carried out may facilitate better sleep. Now another scenario that we could look at is working with older adults in long-term care. Practitioners working in long-term care settings for older adults develop individualized sleep routines, adjust the lighting to clearly 
differentiate between day and night. You can reduce staff noise, train staff to use recommended equipment for bed positioning, maintain turning schedules for individuals who are mobile, and advocate for client needs for privacy. Now, daytime activities including exercise, foster socialization, and facilitate arousal, engagement, and decreases in voluntary daytime napping, thus improving sleep latency and maintenance. Now, occupational therapy practitioners address nocturnal toileting safety, bedding management, and clothing preferences for sleep. Environmental elements such as sufficient blankets for warmth, sound machines to add white noise, and blackout curtains or IMAX may enhance sleep quality. Now, to conclude, occupational therapy practitioners are important members of the healthcare team addressing sleep disorders that place clients at risk for health problems or performance deficits during daily life tasks. They often work with individuals following diagnosis to create behavioral or environmental changes that can facilitate effective sleep habits and routines, providing a foundation for effectively participating in valued activities. Now I'd like to thank you for joining me for this episode of OT to Me. I'm Dr. Frederick B. Covington, Pediatric Occupational Therapist, and we'll be seeing you next time. Take care.